This is a video on how to use Staccato to enter data, create graphs, and calculate statistics. So I took a survey using a scientific survey collection method to find out the age at which people experience their first kiss. So first I can enter in the data. And I'm going to click on there C1, this little place right here. I'm going to type in kiss to give it a name. Now I'm going to type in my data. So the first person experienced her first kiss at 13. So I type it in, hit the down arrow. And the second person, it was 16 and the third person was 15, and then 13, and so on and so on. Okay, I've collected all my data and I've typed them all in, and now I want to start creating some graphs. So first, let's create a histogram. So I go to graph, and then histogram. I first click on C1 KISS, and that will select that as the variable at which I want to find my histogram. I can choose between relative frequency and frequency. I think I'll do a frequency histogram. I could look at a relative frequency histogram also, but on this video, I'm just going to show you frequency. They're similar. Then the title, how about histogram of first kiss? So I type that in. I can show legend or not. So I'll let you play with that and see what that does. And I can choose to provide the number of classes, the minimum and the maximum, or provide the class width and the minimum. So I'm going to provide the number of classes, the min and the max. Notice they tell us the formula. The class width is the maximum minus the minimum divided by the number of classes. I don't want 10 bins. That's a little too many for what I'm doing. Let's do four. And again, if I don't like it, I can always go back and change it and get a new histogram. And I'm going to let it be automatic. I believe that the minimum is chosen to be the minimum of the data set, and the max is the maximum of the data set if you let it be automatic. My label for the x-axis will just be first kiss age. So position of tick marks, I can have my tick marks at the center of each bar or between the bar. I think I'm going to put it at the center of the bar. It might look a little better. And the y-axis, I'm going to label that frequency. And I don't worry too much about tick mark units. I'll let that the computer decide for me. And I click OK. And here's the histogram. So I could see that I had my range kind of uh, low. looks like a, maybe 11 till about 27 for the age of the first kiss. It's unimodal with, at around 17-ish in that range. That looks like between 15 and 19 was kind of the bulk or the center of those who had the first kiss. And then it's skewed to the right, which means that there were a few people that were older who had their first kiss at that age. Okay, now if I click on this graph button, I can copy the graph to the clipboard. And what I'm going to do with that is I could open up my Word document and I can paste it right in. I just click paste, and there's my histogram right into my Word document for the project. So let me go back, and let's get rid of the graph for now. And let's do another graph. How about a box plot? I click on box plot. I click on C1 KISS to tell it that's the variable I want. So how about box plot of first kisses for the title? And my x-axis label, I'll just write first kiss, age. And I don't need a y-axis label. I'm going to let this be a horizontal box plot. It might fit better on the page in the Word document. And let's, for this one, show legend and see what happens. And I hit OK. OK, here's a box plot. So notice that I have my label, C1 kiss. And we have box plot of first kisses. So I'm not sure if I really want that legend there, but I'll let you decide. Okay, notice it shows a little outlier here. We have our 
minimum at 11. We have our maximum of the usual values at around 23 with an outlier at 25. And then we had the interquartile range looks like it's between 14 and 18 with the median at 16. So again, I can click graph, copy to clipboard. I can open the Word document. And I can put my box plot wherever I want it in the Word document. And I just go to paste. So there's my box plot. OK, let's go back to Staccato. And I go to graph. And let's do a stem and leaf plot. I click first kiss. There's not too much to do on this. My leaf unit, I'm just going to leave that blank. I can choose to exclude outliers in my stem and leaf or include them. And you should explore both and see which looks better. And if you want, you can put them both in the project if they are giving you information each. And similarly, you could display stems or not display stems that have no leaves. And I click OK. OK, the stem and leaf plot gets put right in here in the staccato log. For this one, it doesn't do so well in the copy and paste. So you'll probably have to use a program like Snippet or something to copy this in, or you can also um, copy the screen or print screen and then copy it into a Word document. So I'll let you do that. OK, similarly, we can also calculate statistics. So I go to statistics, basic statistics, descriptive statistics, and my input variable is going to be KISS. So now I choose all of the statistics I'm interested in. I want the mean, the standard deviation, the variance. Let's also get the coefficient of variation. That's the standard deviation divided by the mean times 100%. OK, let's also get the minimum, the maximum, the range. Let's get the first quartile, the median, the third quartile the interquartile range, and the mode. I don't know if I need any of the rest of them for now. So I hit OK. And then down in the log, these are the descriptive statistics. And again, you can use a program like Snippet or Print Screen and get this descriptive statistics pasted in, if you want, as a table into a Word document or you can just type these in as they are. So we could see the standard deviation was about 3. That tells us about the average distance from the mean was about 3 on both sides in terms of the age. The mean was about 16 for the age of first kiss. Coefficient of variation is quite large, about 20.821. And the first quartile was 14, medium was 16, that's the middle data. The 18 was the third quartile. The interquartile range, the middle half, was of length 4. And we see that it was bimodal. There was a mode at 16 and a mode at 15. The min was 11, the max was 27, and there was a total range of 16 years for the age of first kiss. So all that would go into your Word document, and of course you'd want to explore and talk about each of these items in full detail. So that's it for Staccato, so hopefully this video helped out.